Hey everybody, this is Cedar Offerman. I know that I've been uh, neglecting my channel and I promised you some more self-care tips and I'm, I, I'm gonna try and get myself organized and be more reliable and consistent. I'm new to this and um, I still don't have a phone holder, but I'm gonna get one really soon. I have to hold up my hand and I just have a busy life and I haven't gotten around to it to be truthful. So I got inspired to just, you know, try and be consistent about posting once a week and and um, getting through this list of self-care tips with you. And then I'm going to do another little short series about the elements of nature and how they affect us physiologically. So, which is really fascinating to me. Okay, so last time we talked about breathing drinking clean water and eating whole food. So I just want to go very short, a little digression here into just adding a few more factoids to those elements because um, I left out some important stuff. Um, so oxygen, I went through that, that it does give energy to every cell. It also converts nutrients to usable energy so it's really important in helping us integrate the foods and nutrients that we take in it it you know clarifies our brain function boosts our brain function it kills pathogens so it's a you know a natural gentle antibiotic in a way um not in the way that it wipes out everything good but it uh it kills pathogenic bacteria and so forth. Um, and I spoke about how it activates the parasympathetic nervous system, helps us relax and digest and let go of our muscles and all that good stuff. And it also just helps the body with growth, repair, immunity, and detoxification. So it, it seems such a simplistic, you know, thing to say. It's like, breathe. But when we actually apply it, you know, I always say, don't believe me. You know, try it out. See what happens. Experiment on yourself, you know. One time I did deep breathing for a whole morning because I got in a yoga class where they were teaching it and I just kept breathing and by the afternoon, I just had to like sprint because I had so much energy. It was unreal. So try it out. And um, with water, I just wanted to add that, you know, we think about it like our blood is 92% water. Our brains are 85% water. Our flesh is 75% water. Like we need water. <laughs> we are water so that's you know makes us work better <laughs> when we drink water I met an old guy once he says I haven't had a drink of water in 30 years and he was <laughs> proud of it you know he was still standing so <laughs> kudos to him all right and um, let's see, was there anything else I wanted to say about eating whole food? Um, you know, uh, when we eat food that is produced in healthy soil, which is nutrient rich and has a microbiome going on that's beneficial, then that all gets transferred to our bodies when we eat it, right? So that's an important factor and, you know, kind of trying to, have some idea where your food's coming from and whether it's grown in living nutrient dense soil with an intact microbiome. Um, yeah. So the next self care tips as we move along, uh, um, expose our skin to the sunshine. Now I know that mainstream kind of teaches us that that's dangerous and of course we have to be sensible 
right? We have to be in tune with our bodies and know when it's enough. But if we're hanging out in the sun, you know, without sunscreen on, it's okay. You know, and um, I've done it and I adapted and got brown and and so, you know, it's just a matter of, you know, using your common sense. But, you know, the fire element in the sun essentially supports life. And when we're in the sun, you know, it warms our blood, it warms our digestion. It, it helps the plants we eat produce chlorophyll. And when we actually eat chlorophyll-rich foods like leafy greens and so on, uh, and then go and expose our skin to the sun, um, we, we, it, it stimulates coenzyme Q10 to be regenerated in our bloodstream. And coenzyme Q10, of course, is very helpful in treatment of arthritis and, and so on. So, you know, and it, it, makes us produce more vitamin D, which helps us with our moods and actually enhances our experience through the release of endorphins, a feel-good hormone. And this, you know, being in the sun is, um, it helps our regulate our body biorhythms. So, you know, it's part of our environment and we don't need to be afraid of it. We just need to use our common sense and not fall asleep unprotected in the blazing sun for three hours. And, you know, put on a white shirt if we feel like our skin's had enough and we're out on a boat where we can't get away or whatever. But in general, it's a good thing. I've even heard of people who meditate by looking at the sun when it comes up and when it goes down and that it actually produces benefits and another thing we've been taught is not to look at the sun but again you know think for ourselves and experiment sensibly by being in tune with ourselves so another self-care tip is be here now and this is an old, you know, classic thing we've heard over and over again. <laughs> but uh, many of us uh, actually haven't experienced it. And when we do, we realize that the now moment where we actually are is an oasis because all the things we worry about are going on in our minds. And in my own healing, I, I was, you know, in hell in my mind and I could go on and on down endless downward spirals and imagining what had happened or what might be happening or what will happen. And when I finally came into the moment, it was like, Oh, nothing bad is actually happening. <laughs> and, you know, it is, it's like home free when you're playing tag, you know, it's like a place to settle. And when we come in to our body, and into the actual here and now. That's what we're here for. That's what, that's what we've all been waiting for. <laughs> you know, I find I do Qigong in the mornings and um, I find that it, it just helps me to bring my spirit into my body and 
connect with the earth to ground and to, you know, direct the mind and sometimes rarely actually find a place of no thought and just being and noticing the body, being in the body. And, you know, it just, it just sets the day off in a good tone. It, it helps things to flow better, I find. And I noticed that when I didn't do it for a number of days that I'd go off my spindle. Something would go askew, you know. So having an awareness practice that helps us breathe. I'm forgetting to breathe <laughs> and helps us to come in to the body. It just gives us a place of presence, you know, from where we can create our reality. A clarity of mind is a, you know, if we're planting the seeds of the future from clarity of mind and presence and awareness, our future is going to look a lot better. And that's what brings me to my third self-care tip for this video is we are the creators of our reality. <laughs> I have a dear friend from a long time ago named Shayom Kaya. And when I was living in Northern California in community with him, he said to me one day, because I was a bit of a basket case at the time, and he said to me, you are the creator of your reality. And that's all he said. And I was just like, whoa, you know what? And, you know, again, what is this woman talking about? I mean, this is, you know, in some circles, a very accepted reality, you know, because we've tried it out and noticed what happens, you know. And all I can say is, you know, try it out. Like if, if every thought, word, and deed creates our future. So that's a big deal. And so if we're going around in chaotic mind and thinking of all the horrible things that might happen to us in the future, it's not going to be good, you know. And I've just noted that when my mind is in chaos, when I'm worrying and thinking bad thoughts and spinning out and yelling and screaming and getting frustrated and getting mad. My world just goes to shit. And of course that hasn't happened in a long time <laughs> because I've learned tools to ground myself, to nourish myself properly to calm my mind, to, you know, fulfill my own needs and have an awareness practice. And so over time, as my life and my thoughts, my deeds became more right-minded and, uh, you know, especially since I came to a big realization in 2014 that I'm, there's so much misery and suffering I see in the world that I devote my life to service. And so I give a lot away. I give my health coaching six-month programs away sometimes 
to people who don't have money and are willing to heal and where I feel called. And I just tell the universe every day, like, use my life for the healing of this world and her children. And I do that because I just am compelled to. And it's what feels good. And I just notice that my life is flooded with blessings, you know. And I know that's because I'm staying centered and I'm giving and I'm being kind. Not rocket science. So just try it out, you know, see what happens when you practice random acts of kindness or you give people a warm look or a smile in the grocery lineup or you help somebody out who dropped something or you help out a friend who's overwhelmed with their housework or their yard work. It doesn't have to be complicated, but... So check out your magic powers, your superpowers, because when we get clear on our intentions and we reach out to our source and make them heard and ask for help, and when we just go forth in life being kind, taking care of ourselves, finding calm time, Life is good. Our frequency increases. We enter a more harmonious timeline. So check it out. So that's all for now. And I'll see you next week with the next three health uh, self-care tips. I hope you're finding this helpful. Let me know. Like, subscribe, comment. And um, I'll also get started on that element videos. All right, guys, have a wonderful day on planet Earth. Love, love, love. Create a beautiful reality.